Welcome to the beginning of the story of the Trojan War. We're going to be building the city of Aulis, but there's more to this than just peaceful construction. The mission is called The Oath, and we're embarking on the ill-fated adventure surrounding the city of Troy. It's all about Helen, a daughter of the King of Sparta and deemed the most beautiful woman in the world. Maybe because it's supposed that Zeus is her actual father. Helen had a multitude of suitors and her father was reluctant to promise her to any of them because it would upset everyone else. Finally, Odysseus had a proposal that would solve the problem. All of the suitors had to swear an oath to defend Helen's marriage, whomever it was with. Meanwhile, the king of Sparta, Tyndareus, would support his courting of Penelope. Tyndareus agreed. Menelaus was the political choice for Helen's marriage, and so it was done. There were those with other plans, but more on that later. Today, we'll be establishing our new city, which will serve an important purpose that is yet to be revealed. The conversation at the dinner table turned from the subject of the city you were on the verge of establishing to the fair Helen, beloved of everyone in Greece, who was about to choose a husband. Odysseus said, Let us all swear an oath to protect Helen from harm and to support the man whom she chooses as a husband. We owe her no less. We shall name the oath after Helen's father and call it the Oath of Tyndareus. All shouted in assent, and Odysseus administered the oath to each person. Everyone was too busy celebrating to notice that Odysseus did not take the oath himself, but the hero wouldn't have less than noble intentions. Now that the festivities are over, you must return to your land to begin building the kingdom of Aulis in earnest. Soon your city will match the cities that your friends Agamemnon, Odysseus, and Ajax lead. You can count on your friends sending you city-warming presents to help you start your city. All right, it is the beginning of the Trojan War in Zeus, a master of Olympus. Beginning with the Oath. We have to produce 64 sheaves of wheat in one year, produce 16 amphora of wine in one year, a thousand people in townhouses or better, and a treasury of 5,000. That sounds good. Let's go to the city. All right, here we are. Let's, uh, let's check the map. Here's the overview. We've got some wolves there. A lot of wolves there. This is a big map. So there's this other farming land with more wolves over there. We've got this farming land here. Okay. And this is... We've got some boars. Nice little sort of canyon, ravine there, valley, and coastal area, lots of flat land, a little bit of sandy area there. This is fishing spot, good. Some fishing spot there, no, a fishing spot over there. Okay, scattered fishing spots, pretty far. I hate wolves. Wolves in this game are overpowered. Um, they will eat walls. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. Is that actually traversable? That is a road, yeah. I haven't Have we seen that before with stairs? Like, I've seen it ramped like that, but not actual stairs. I guess that works. Okay, but building anywhere close to the edge of the map is dangerous because who knows what's gonna spawn. But uh, I think this farmland does not have wolves. So let me... Oh, it's been a while since I played this game. Uh, let's build roads. Uh, let's rotate the map so I can actually see where this is coming from. So there's a road here. There's a road here. And then there's a road here. Just so we can see. Is this? That's not traversable. Okay. Okay, so that's the way up to that farmland. Good. Ah. Oh. Let's build a new city. What what city are we? What what city is this? The city of Aulis. And it looks like trade is already open with everyone, including Troy, which buys marble fleece armor and sells wheat. However, um, 
we, we roughly know how this story goes. So let me check. Miletus buys wine. Ethiopia buys fleece, olive oil, wine. Ithaca buys fleece. So lots of fleece. Another one. Uh, Mycenae buys fleece. Salamis buys wooden fleece. Argos buys marble and armor. Sparta buys wood. Okay, so back to the city. Let's have a look at our resources. Farms, wheat farm. Uh, we've got grapevines, olive trees, carting shed sheep. So we want like infinite fleece, right? Fisheries, hunting lodge. There's a little bit of hunting we can do here for one housing area. That, that probably will get us going quite nicely. Let's boost up wage rates to very high. Uh, let's boost tax rates to outrageous. And I think we can get started. Now, I don't really want to do... Do I, um, do I really want to do that? Blocks? Blocks? I guess a block of houses is always a decent start. Let's just do this. Right? Can't go wrong with a nice block of houses. We might do some fancy things later. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll roadblock, roadblock, roadblock. Unpause the game, let people move in. Do they come from the uh, north or south? I assume south, maybe. There's no unrest in the city. That's good to know. Can't you just build a tower to shoot at the wolves? Can you do that? No, we can't build any military structures. <laughs> There's no military whatsoever. Okay, so they're moving in. Um, let's get some basics going. Hygiene, safety. We will need... Yeah, let's do fountain. Infirmary. Maintenance office. Watch post. Yep, employees needed. And then I will also have a maintenance office there. And then we need to go to distribution, make sure we have a granary there. This granary will be accepting meat. And then we go to this land and sea, hunting lodge. Let's go two hunting lodges for these boars. Let's go ahead and get an agora, a common agora. That looks good. Uh, let's get a food vendor. Uh, we will need a uh, storehouse. This storehouse will accept fleece, olive oil. Yeah, I'll just plan that for now. 16 of each fleece and olive oil. Okay, then we can get our fleece industry going. How do I want to do this? We could, we could do the fancy trick. Population milestone. Uh, we have this road extend like that. We have... This road extend up away from the houses into there. And then I can roadblock here. And I just want the maintenance office. Like that. And then this is roadblock like that. And I clear some space here. And then we go to... We don't have a lot of money. So let's go to carding sheds. And spam in the sheep. That's so expensive. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be our start of the fleece industry. And we got to fleece our neighbors. So who is it? Uh, Ithaca, land trade route. Uh, Ithaca, Mycenae, Sal that's a sea trader, Salamis. So Ithaca, Mycenae, as a start. 
Uh, might be better to produce wine and oil over the river for trade to Miletus and Ethiopia instead. Like, for the sea trade route, right? Because this is farmland near the coast. That actually makes sense. So, sea trade probably should be over there. Let's get these trade routes, trading post Mycenae. This positioning is a little weird. Yeah, I'd have to do this. And then this we're selling fleece. We don't need such a stock. Let's just put 16 there. Uh, I will move this road and that. Shift it over by one. Then I can roadblock there and I can put the maintenance office there. And then I can put the other trading to Ithaca here. And this is also selling fleece. Okay, and we're in debt immediately. <laughs> Let's... Uh... I learned the one tile sheep abuse. Yeah. Let's see if we actually have a challenge in this adventure, yeah? Are we hunting boars? The helping hand from Troy? Hello, Gamerzak. I've noticed that you could use some money because I think so highly of you. I, Priam of Troy, have decided to grant you 1,200 drachmas. I am pleased to be able to help, except, hey, Troy is giving us stuff. That's perfect. So now we just have to... Let's check. Um, 99 workers needed. Why are these... So these need food from an Agora before the house can improve. Are we... Oh, we should probably prioritize... No, that's the wrong button. I sh we should probably prioritize... Is it... Husbandry? And we just don't have enough. I've, I've overbuilt somewhat. Hunting and sheep carding are both uh, are both husbandry. So it's a bit hard to separate them in the in the work priority. Unfortunately, it's fine. We'll just build more houses because currently, yeah, storage and distribution can't be. Put the food in there. Thank you. So we got a little bit of food in there. And we just don't have enough people. Okay, now let's distribute some food. Okay, now that that guy's out, we can do this. That will start evolving some houses. Wonderful. Short 86 workers. Okay. So this should bring in, yeah, extra room for eight for all the food going out. And we actually evolved more than half this block. A gift of wine from Mycenae. Okay. Let's postpone that. How do we cross over? Do we have to bridge here? I think we got a bridge here. Administration. Water crossing. Oh, there's like literally... It's either there or there, so it might still be... How much does this cost? 280? Kind of expensive. There should be more rescue funds, right? It's, it's fine. We've got lots of allies. Let's bridge over there. And then bridge over there. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to set up a storage and trade route here. So the water trade routes are buying wood fleece, marble armor, wine. 24 wine to Miletos. Another 12 wine and 24 oil to Ethiopia. 
Oh, and they sell, f they sell fish. Okay, we don't need that. So Miletos and Ethiopia are the places that buy olive oil and wine. So I'd want to set that up eventually. So when I go to distribution, trade, I could have them, I could have them set up here. So I'm just going to set, I think the road like that, that fits right? Yeah, it fits there. I'm going to do this, just need a maintenance office. And I'm going to put a storehouse. Yeah, right there. And this will be accepting everything. So gifts can come in there and this will be future trade. We're four in debt right now. It's fine. Why do we need so many workers? Just for those? How many workers do these take? Five. Twelve. Did it really go up that much? Hmm. Okay, well, fine. Housing for 60. A helping hand from Lemnos. Accept. Thank you for the money. Starting with all of these... Um, Allies gives us a lot of free money. Gift of wine, accept. Gift of olive oil, accept. So we're getting all of that. Oh, it went here. I guess we'll need it eventually. That's fine. Uh, we can sell the wine and oil when it goes over here. So who, who buys wine? Mylitos. Well, Ethiopia... Memnon? Is Memnon Agamemnon? Leader Ajax, Diomedes, Menaklaus. That's Agamemnon in Mycenae. Ithaca, Odysseus. Oh, all the names are here. Eunice, Priam, Penthesilia. Who are we in this story? Who's the leader of all this? So anyway, we want to trade with Ethiopia. Because they buy oil and wine and fleece. So that's going to be like the primary trade. Game is out, of I course. Poseidon. Worship me and the sea will befriend you. Poseidon, huh? I haven't even looked at the sanctuaries available. Uh... Promontory of Poseidon, Hermes's Refuge, and Gates of Hades. Oh, we don't get Hades very often. Trade. Ethiopia. Got the right one, right? So that's going there. And this is going to be selling all of these things. Okay. And then we can sell this wine. That was a gift. Eight wheels of cheese from Argos. Okay. We, we can... Since all these gifts are coming in, I'm just going to allow this granary to accept everything. Right? I guess it doesn't really matter what type of food. How's our worker shortage? 70 workers needed. <laughs> these do need 24 workers. Uh, we're getting some fleece in, so we can start selling that. That's good to see. Hmm. We are distributing some food there. Okay, so then these need a peel of the neighborhood. Culture venues. Yeah, we, we need more food to come in. The cheese will help. Once we get sales going, then we can start. There we go. Let's accept the cheese. Now we've got cheese and meat. What a great diet. <laughs> Can't get cheese from Argos. Only household goods and tech. <laughs> uh, 
shift food industry to uh, wheat instead. I mean, I, I would... How much? It's only eight workers in the hunting lodge. A farm takes a lot more. Like, once you're building, like, a bunch of farms will take a lot more than that, right? Gift of fish from Lemnos. Great. This is just free food to get all these evolved. Uh, so we need some appeal. Let's go to beautification. And do a nice... Parked up area through the middle. And then we need to start throwing down culture venues. Let's do the easy ones first. Gymnasium. Alien TM saying, just stopping by to say hello. Uh, got me back into Caesar 3 through my videos. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. These games really are timeless. Okay, so a gym... It, uh, getting these people a gym membership should make them more cultured. That's how that works, right? Then the hovel, yeah. Then we need fleece, okay. So fleece is starting to fill up these trade routes. We just need a lot more fleece. Maybe I should focus on... If I set this to getting... Does it hold on to the fleece from the trade? No, right? Some traders are coming through, though. Gift of wheat. Great, thank you. Oh, right. We should break this road so that traders walk in straight lines. Otherwise, they follow the roads and it becomes a problem. So just keep that, yeah, broken. And, ah, oh, we're making some money. I think we sold the wine as well, considering how much money we have. Yes, the wine was sold. Okay. So we're getting some money. Lots of people are moving in, so we should be getting the workers needed. Um, population milestone, 500. Uh, these now need fleece. So to evolve the houses further, uh, I should probably get a palace down as well. I could pop the palace right here and make sure it doesn't collapse. That helps evolve these houses as well. And then I can go to distribution, Agora fleece vendor. So we can start distributing fleece and then go to husbandry herding and double our carding sheds. We want tons of fleece. A gift of bronze from Miletus. Okay. Let's get the sheep down. Spam the sheep. There we go. I'll probably let the sheep roam free um, when our finances are stabilized. <laughs> okay. Then looking at this... We still have unemployment. Okay, so now we can start getting wheat farms. Gift of wood from Ithaca. Okay, accept. Let's do this. Employees needed. Yep. Each farm takes 10 employees. So one farm takes more employees than a hunting lodge. Maintenance office. Okay, so we've got some farms. I don't know if we're getting any fleece into the market. This is the best city ever. The boar here are the best this side of Caledon. We've hunted all the boar. What are they hunting now? I didn't see any other boar on this map. Can they hunt the wolves? Oh no, there's boars there. Wait, what's the pathing? They go here. And then down here. I didn't realize there were more boar. They're right here. <laughs> tax office. Yes, that's why I built the palace. <laughs> I forgot to tax the people. Tax office. Right there. Okay, so we can hunt those. Mm, wheat will start coming in. 40 workers needed. Uh, we did build a lot of stuff. Um, this should really bring in the fleece. I think I should just stop selling fleece for a while. 
so the fleece gets distributed into the city. Yeah, then the storehouse can get the fleece. Okay, so this will get that to the next level. Then we'll need oil production. Hmm. For oil production, I'd probably want to make some room here. And have some oil refinery things. Let's go to aesthetics. We don't have decorative roads. These these missions never give you all the decorations right at the start. Should be fine. Homesteads need more culture venues. What are our goals here? Produce 64 sheaves of wheat in one year, 69 four of wine, a thousand people in townhouses, and a treasury of 5,000. Okay. That's easy enough to accomplish. I am Poseidon. Worship me, and the sea will befriend you. So I think we are going to be focusing on... This is going to bring in a new wave of people. I think we should get the olive oil and wine industries going, particularly on exports. 890 drachma a year, 910 with... Oh, there he is. I was like wondering where he is. He's right there. <laughs> Does he have, have like flippers on or are those his feet? Because they're like a different color. Is, is he... Does he have like flippers on? Because <laughs> they're black, right? And I don't think Poseidon has like black feet, right? I need a bit of appeal here. Beautification. Corinthian column? Which is the... Which is your favorite column? Corinthian, Ionic, or Doric? Maybe I could mix them. I've never mixed them before. Let's try and mix them for this. So those were Doric. Then it's Ionic. No, I actually might want that clear. And then Corinthian. Might be a bit of a mis mishmash, but... Gift of Marble from Ethiopia. Okay, accept. Looks a bit weird, but I've never done that before. I'm gonna let it sit and then see. Poseidon scuba certified? Well, you better be, right? <laughs> if Poseidon is not scuba certified, who would be? A bit of column A, a bit of column B. <laughs> Ray Yolen. <laughs> what was I doing? Um, all right, I want to continue selling fleece. And with these people moved in, I want to set up the, the wine and oil. But all these wolves are right here, which is kind of annoying, but... Okay, I guess I throw down another storehouse. There's some wood, bronze, and marble here. They buy wine. Who else is here? Oh, we could sell the wood to Salamis. We could sell the marble, but we probably want it. I guess I'll just hold on to it. Um, this is... 24 olive oil, 12 wine. So if I go to industry, workshops. 24 olive oil, 12 wine. Uh, so one, two, three, four. One, two. And then I go orchards. Employees needed, yeah. So we need... Throw down a couple orchards like this. And then I want, like, 
grape vines, and olive trees. Hard to tell how much I should be build. Helping hand from Sparta? Yes, yeah, Sparta, give me all your money. <laughs> It'll benefit us in the long run. Wait, hunters are coming here? There's boar on this side as well? Oh, okay. There's actually... How did I not see all the boar here? There's two herds of... Herds? Two packs? Troops? Wait, it's a what of boar? What do you call a group of boar? I think I asked this before, but I can't remember. Because maybe the topic's a snore. But actually... It's just kind of gore-y as we hunt the boars. Is it herd? Maybe it's herd. <laughs> so this needs more culture venues. So we can fit the theater right here. Uh, culture. Drama. Theater. Traders are in the way. Theater. And then we throw down a drama school. Right there. We're currently short 68 workers. Okay. Wages are on maximum. This will get um, some decent exports. Festival at Mycenae. Dear friend Gamezak, I'm turning to you to ask for your help. I, Agamemnon of Mycenae, am planning a festival for the great god Zeus, who has saved my city from disaster. I would like to show Zeus just how thankful I am by throwing the biggest festival ever. With nine crates of food from you, I am sure I can meet this goal. Please send the goods within six months. Have it. Sounder of boars? A singular of boar? Singular? Wait. The word singular refers to many? This is very confusing. <laughs> Wait, singular refers to many boar? A singular of boar is lots of boar. Who made this decision? I would like to speak to English's manager. <laughs> who 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 chose this? <laughs> All right, I didn't realize these houses could just evolve again. Let, let's get them. Tenements, tenements, and then they need olive oil which we already have some stored here, but no production. So with these extra workers, I would like to set up some production here. Let's go to industry, workshops, olive press. We'll have one, two, three. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. We'll just do three for now, and then we'll go to here, orchards. We'll do like two growers, lodges, and a bunch of olive trees. We can probably reach down there, right? Maybe? My Sune regards you more highly. Don't olive trees take like a hundred years to grow? Population milestone, a thousand people. Okay. I'm just gonna cover these hills with olive trees because it looks kind of nice, even if they can't be cultivated. You blame the French for that one? Yeah, it's probably it's probably their fault. <laughs> you don't choose English. English chooses you. That's actually very accurate. <laughs> Argos needs sculpture. Four pieces. 
Dearest Gamazak, I, Diomedes of Argos, have a favor to ask of you. One of my sanctuaries has collapsed into a heap, and I need four pieces of sculpture to rebuild it. Please send me the sculpture within nine months so that the gods do not take offense. Four pieces of sculpture, that's so much sculpture. We got, like, enough bronze for, like, a sculpture and a half. This wolf is dangerously close. I'm Hermes. Worship me, and some of your citizens will taste my speed. Just realized that's a very weird thing to say. Some of your citizens will taste my speed. Hmm. Is that why they move faster? <laughs> Well, fleece supply looks good. Um, so, olive oil. So, uh, fleece, olive oil. Do we need anything else? 62 workers needed. Did everyone move in already? Yeah, so I guess we just start... We can, we can start distributing the... Oh, wait, if I distribute the olive oil now... Best is nine. Oh, we're not producing nearly enough wheat. Why do we have to produce so much wheat? Uh, oil vendor. And that will get us to the population housing goal. <laughs> you thought he said feet? Is that weirder or less weird? <laughs> Worship me and some of your citizens will taste my feet. He does have those winged shoes, so... <laughs> maybe? Maybe that makes sense? Hmm. No wonder why they're so mythical creatures. Uh, you just noticed the poor goat pen? Yeah, they're all in there. There's like so many. They're all in there. So, oil's going out. Yeah, there's no way we can do that. Oh, needs more appeal. Okay. Oh, we have this population monument. Would make sense to go here, I think. Yeah, to counteract all this other industry. Bam. Townhouses. These houses have everything they need. And then beautification. Uh, no, let's go to recreational areas. Fish ponds. That's always a good one. Fish pond. A hedge maze. We could do... I didn't realize... Oh, I missed it. We can actually do these roads. Now we can just have it a bit more intermittent, I guess. And then a couple parks. Park that up. Park around the back there. Still need a bit more appeal on this side. I mean, another fish pond will probably do it. Yes, good. Last one. No, not enough. Come on. It's just one house. Oh, some of these center ones have problems as well. Uh, I guess I could delete one of these houses. Let's get rid of that one. I'll just do that. That's fine, right? Yeah, there we go. 
That gets them all evolved. So these are all now townhouses with a population of 1,500. With some room to spare. We're getting some bits of unemployment. Okay, we are now producing some oil. Uh, I think we can definitely... How do I do this? I can have... Another maintenance office there, and then I can fit a growers lodge there, and fit another growers lodge here. That should just keep the olive oil going. My popularity has waned because of unemployment, I expect. Uh, we are getting wine and oil to sell here. Oh, right. I should disable accepting the raw materials here. Don't accept grapes. Don't accept olives. Right? Don't accept grapes. Don't accept olives. Okay, we created one sculpture. Who sells bronze if we wanted to fulfill that? Sells marble. Oh, Miletus does sell bronze. I guess I could set that up. We're making kind of a decent amount of money now. Miletus. Let's do this. We're extending this road down like this. Uh, we want to roadblock that. We want to be importing bronze. Let's just buy 12. It's not crazy expensive. We are selling wine. Maintenance office. Argos needs sculptures. I, Diomedes of Argos, am distraught, Gamerzak. The sanctuary is still in shambles, all because you haven't sent me the four pieces of sculpture I need. If you send the items now, we can resume construction and finish our project late. <laughs> Typical. Sine loves you, though. You're a fantastic leader, and everyone should aspire to be more like you. Good. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. But I guess I could just work towards it. Got on another sculpture studio. Let the bronze flow. Money's looking really good. How how about taxes? Taxes, 5,000 drachma. <laughs> yeah, taxes in this game, always. I'm going to always say this. Taxes in this game are insane. Festival at Sparta. 10 amphora of wine. Okay, well, we are producing wine. We just have to stop selling it. Uh, stop selling wine. Stop selling wine. Um... I could just have more random storehouses here, which accept everything except for grapes and olives. Worship me, the feared Hades, and your city will glisten in the sun. Hades. Where is he? Walking around here? There he is. He's taking his time. There he is. <laughs> Hades. I haven't played Hades. It's good though, right? It won game of the year, right? <laughs> Hades is... Gold in this game, right? You get gold mines. Festival at Ithaca. Eight jugs of olive oil. Okay, um... Stop buying olive oil. We should get some here soon. So wine, olive oil, and sculptures, everything's being requested. Here comes a jug of olive oil, we can send that at least. Okay, dispatch, resume buying.
It's not a good idea to have olive trees in multiple locations like this, reason being you'll end up... Oh, right, because these... Would these grow as... Hmm. These growers would go over there if they ran out of trees to work on here, right? I guess it's fine as long as they don't cross the world. Gift of wine? Great, we actually need that. We need... How much wine? Not enough wine. We're producing a little bit here. Grapes are... overflowing, so I should have another winery thrown down here. Six months to comply. Ten amphora. Okay. Ithaca regards you more highly. Employees needed. Winery. Let's throw down another winery. That should use up the grapes. Yeah, I know generally speaking centralizing it would would help. Best for wheat is 38, so we need to double our... Thousand people in townhouses are better. Oh, what happened here? What? Lost access to clean water from a fountain? What happened? <laughs> Fountains only walk 22 tiles. It's been okay this whole time by accident. Fountain. Let's just pop a couple extra fountains down. That should help stabilize it. All right. Grown out of my home. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> you can turn around, but no. New immigrants are showing up. Lemnos needs fleece dispatch. Salamis needs wine. Postpone. Samus needs wine. Sparta needs wine first. Um, I think I'm more scared of Sparta. So I will save up for that. Little bits of wine coming in here and there. That looks good. Uh huh. So we're short 200 workers, but they're all moving back in now. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> hmm. How do I... Uh, they're all empty. Okay. We need to double our wheat. Yeah, so we need to double our wheat. It's October now. Wine ready for Salamis. Yeah, no, I'm not sending to Salamis first. Sparta first. How much do I have? Wine, wine. I've got nine wine, so I just need one more, and then I can fulfill the Sparta one. Are these all full? Three loads, three loads, three loads, yeah. One load, one load, one load. Okay. So one of these... Yeah, that's 98. This one's done. Okay, so Sparta, you get your wine. No oh, sculpture. Sparta. Dispatch goods. Argos, dispatch goods. We actually got enough sculptures. Now, Salamis will be late, but I think after that, the supply of things that are requested should be fine. All right, just nice little industry trade area there. That looks good. Okay, let's look at our employees. 97 needed. House is still moving in. Housing says housing for 232. Okay, Argos thinks less of you. That's fine. Uh, money looks great, so our treasury is actually where it needs to be. 10,000 people in townhouses or better is good. Um, best is 13. I did just put down one more 
winery, but I think I should just put down another to make sure we are actually producing enough wine. Uh, industry, workshops, winery, one more winery, and that should get our wine for the uh, year done. And then farms, I do wheat farms, and I'll want to clear the road area. Farms, wheat farms. And we need probably just double this, right? Lemnos regards you more highly. So another five wheat farms. And to make sure the wheat actually goes somewhere, I will... Does anyone buy wheat? Can I sell this? No one buys wheat. Okay, so I guess I'm just storing it up for no particular reason. Let's just put it there, put it there, and these two will be holding wheat. Okay. Yeah, wheat isn't worth selling anyway. But if you have it, then... <laughs> There's so much just sitting around, jeez. Okay. Do I want to clear that? I think I'll just clear that. Just throw it all out. Waste the wheat. Just... I just want to make sure... I am Poseidon. Worship me and the sea will befriend you. Hello, Poseidon. Maybe someday. Not today, though. We're just establishing the basis of our city. So now we can continue storing up some sculptures, some wine, some olive oil. Oh, we're not storing any olive oil here, but we, how's our olive oil supply on this side? Oh, there's a lot of olives just sitting around. I need more workshops. Sparta regards you more highly. Salamis needs wine. Yep. Hmm. You didn't send me the wine. Um. I can fit a workshop there. 89 workers needed. Maybe I've overdone it a bit. On the carding sheds? Maybe I have too many carding sheds. Let's, let's do six carding sheds. That feels a bit more appropriate. <laughs> I think we have too much fleece. And carding sheds take eight employees each. Okay, so we're short 78 workers. If I fit a house there. I guess I don't need that fountain. I fit a house there. And make sure aesthetics. Okay, that should solve my employment problem. Because that could be another 120 people, which should fit the 60 shortage of workers. Okay. Now this looks good. Yeah, the occasional sculpture coming in. I guess I can tone down. You know, I'm not short on money. I can just keep buying this bronze. It's fine. I should, probably should specialize these warehouses, though. Uh, let's not have sculptures there. So this is mainly holding wine. So I guess I'll turn off olive oil here and turn off wine here just for a bit of organization and this one will not 
except wine or olive oil or sculptures. Wait, where are sculptures going? Wait, no. This one should accept that. I think I need another. Yeah, I think I'll need another one for sculptures, but for now, we'll just do that. A little bit of organization on storage. Okay. These new houses evolving. That should solve that problem. It's July. So, end of this year, we should be able to win. Right, we should have doubled our wheat and wine production. So we should win at the end of this year, but I'm not sure. We might have to tweak a couple more things, but this is a pretty decent start to the city. All right, that request. Let's dispatch that wine. So no current requests. I've managed to fulfill all the requests. All this wheat's coming in. So we have to produce 68, which is technically like both of these, that'll be 64, oh, 64. So if these two warehouses, storehouses fill up with wheat plus the granary, it should be more than enough. Pretty close. If, I think somewhere in it's the granary, right? Ah, nice. Another townhouse. I'll be getting... Yeah, so... Okay, good. Two extra houses. Solves our problem there. Taxes will be about 6,000 a year. Salamis thinks less of you. That's fine. Patrician, thank you so much for the sub. Okay. Yeah, do other missions happen on the same city? Yes, in Zeus, we come back to the city and continue it. So there's six uh, missions in this adventure. Four will be on this map. So we'll be coming back to this three more times. I mean, story-wise, this is just the oath. Everyone's just said, all right, let's support Helen. And by support Helen, I mean support her dad. Because <laughs> no one's going to support Helen. Support the king. Mm. And no drama has happened as of yet. The betrothal has been set. Helen is due to marry. And I'm sure nothing wrong will happen. It's all gonna be fine. <laughs> it's all gonna go according to plan. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no Brad Pitt. No, no Eric Bana. Sure, you can have the fleece. Nothing untoward. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, oil production here seems to have caught up fleece is maintaining fine with these exports we're over 10,000 in the bank 1,600 uh, employees still short 44 oh why isn't this oh appeal needs to be higher okay let's get the appeal higher let's do beautification just give you more parks Yes, good. There we go. And it's November. And at the end of December, we should just win. Slamis has money woes. 500? Help yourself. It's fine. <laughs> money is not a problem in this game. Not for me. A master governor. <laughs> Uh, 
That depends on your description of plan. And I suppose whose plan, right? Whose plan works out in the story of Troy? Who wins? Does anyone win in the story of Troy? Woodcutters and the wooden horse. The wooden horse wins. Woodcutters probably got paid well to make the the horse. <laughs> I don't think anyone wins. Just just the weapon exports. It's just the arms dealers. The archaeologists win. Then again, no, archaeologists also didn't win because we're not too sure about Troy. So no, the ar archaeologists didn't win either. No one won. <laughs> A year passed, but um, what did we? We only did fifty sheaves of wheat. How? How? Let's... Why does it even ask us to produce this much wheat? Worship me, the feared Hades, and your city will glisten in the sun. Okay, this should do it. Three more farms. Set this to only accepting wheat. I was sure... How did we only produce 50 units of wheat? Surely we produced more than that. Okay. Let's speed up to the end of this year, then. Any requests? No. I think goods need to be stored, sold for it to count. I, th I thought enough went into the granary and these two. These two storehouses were almost full, and the granary got some as well. Like, right now, looking at the granary, it's, like, almost empty. Where's all of our wheat? That's, um... Prioritize... Do farms fall under husbandry? I guess so. Yeah. Farms are husbandry. This should get us 64 wheat. Hades covers your city in glitter. <laughs> Okay, bam, 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 bam. Okay, that is two storehouses full of wheat, plus the granary was filled up as well. That should be enough wheat, right? Okay, it's September now, it's October now. Give some wheat as gifts to other cities. But no one wants it, no one buys wheat. There's no one with, with a shortage of wheat, so it's like... Mm. Anyway, this should be victory. Aulis is well on its way to becoming one of the greatest cities in all of Greece. Yet there is a hint of trouble in the air. Helen has chosen to wed King Menelaus of Sparta, and the happy couple have settled into their home. While everything seems to be exactly as it should be, word around Greece is that Helen might not be safe. Helen might not be safe, apparently. Mm -mm -mm. Settled into the home of King Menelaus of Sparta. That was the choice. That was the choice. Anyway, that's going to be it for our first step into the Trojan War in Zeus, Master of Olympus. The final adventure of Zeus. Not counting Poseidon. But we're gonna get through this story, and I hope you're enjoying it so far. There will be more to it, and I hope you join us for it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video.